It's no surprise that a kid like me would be absolutely obsessed with Lady Gaga, but people still question it. Um, I have, like, pretty much all of the magazines that I could find of her, and I've drawn pictures of her. I am obsessed with her. So, what I'm gonna do in this video is show you some of my Lady Gaga collection and talk about the new Vogue issue, September 2012. So, the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is a picture that I actually drew of Lady Gaga. And, yeah, I don't know. It's not amazingly good, but that's Lady Gaga. And I drew it. She has pigtails, and I'm obsessed with pigtails. So, I don't know. I really love that picture, and I'm stepping on stuff. Another thing that I have of Lady Gaga is this Vogue issue. This one is from March 2011, and as stuff falls out... And, I don't know, I've always loved this one. I mean, the ones that Lady Gaga's in are always thicker than the normal ones. So that one's a very thick magazine. I have when Lady Gaga was on the cover of Billboard. This one is from February 26, 2011. I mean, I love... I just love her different makeup. I like everything about her, pretty much. I'm absolutely a little monster. Um, this is Vanity Fair, September 2010, Lady Gaga. I mean, I don't think there's anything about Lady Gaga that I don't like. I mean, her fashion, her makeup, her music, just everything. Um, this is her Rolling Stone cover from July 2010. I mean, this one was actually given to me by my friend Kimberly. Um, I don't talk to her as much as I would like to, but she was very nice and gave me this, and I died. Um, I have a little special collector's issue of Lady Gaga. It's just a magazine, and it has, like, a billion pictures of her inside. I mean, what's not to love? It's Lady Gaga. And on the back, you know, Grammys. Um, I have another Harper's Bazaar from October 2011 when she was on the cover. I mean, of course, I love it. She was natural. Um, I think this was the makeup and, like, hair and makeup from when she was really natural in her You and I music video, which I absolutely love. And then the last magazine, well, not the last, this magazine is another Vanity Fair this one is from January 2012, but if you're obsessed with her, you probably already knew that. So, I mean, those are all my magazines. And of course I have all of her um, CDs. I have The Fame, I have The Fame Monster, I have Born This Way. I'm kind of obsessed. It's kind of sick. Um, but why I'm really here today is I came in my room when I got home from school and I saw my new Vogue September issue in 2012 and she looks gorgeous on the cover. I absolutely love that dress. You all know that I'm a fan of teased hair so it doesn't get that much better for me and I don't know I just think that that is gorgeous. I love her makeup if you can see because as you all know I'm very obsessed with makeup. And I'm not going to lie, it took me literally 20 minutes to find the section of Lady Gaga in this because, as you can see, this is a very thick edition of Vogue America. Vogue America. Um, so, it's all the way back in page 802, which is where her um, section starts. And the big heading is Dream Girl, and I'm going to try to show you the picture as stuff falls out. There it is. She's wearing a big hat and it says Dream Girl on it. And if you can see, she looks gorgeous, of course. I mean, she looks very natural compared to a lot of the stuff she's worn. And I just absolutely love it. She is wearing a... This is actually um, an orange and black goat and fox 
fur hat and it's not faux fur it's just actual fur and I think that that hat is kind of crazy amazing I mean there's her eyes she looks kind of high but who cares she's gorgeous I mean it just doesn't get better than Lady Gaga for me and then I think there's one more picture there's a lot of like an interview I didn't read it yet because I'm slightly dyslexic um, oh, but this is probably my favorite picture out of all of them, and it's a huge hat, and she looks gorgeous. I think she's, yeah, she's completely naked, but who doesn't love a naked Lady Gaga? And I absolutely love this big hat. It's really showgirly, and I love it, right? And then the last important thing about this issue of Vogue is... I saved this page too. This is actually on page 629, and it is the Lady Gaga Fame Perfume. I think that that bottle is really cute, and I'm kind of obsessed with the smell, even though I just smelled it like a couple minutes ago. But I'm going to lift up the little scent thing. I mean, I don't know really how to categorize the smell of it, but... I mean, I like it, so who cares? Can you see that? Lady Gaga Fame perfume. I mean, the bottle looks like a little alien. Like, in my mind, it looks like a spaceship. Um, let me tell you what it re retails for. Okay, the most expensive bottle of this is a 3.4 fluid ounce, and it is $79. Um, if you don't have that much money, then you can get the one fluid ounce one and it's $42. And then there's a 1.7 fluid ounce for $55. So, I mean, as far as perfume goes, I guess it's not that ridiculously expensive, but I don't just have $40, $50, $70 dollars to spend on perfume. So, I'm gonna still use my Britney Spears Fantasy. I mean, it smells so good. That's what I'm wearing right now. But, you know, eventually I'm sure that I'll get the perfume. But there it is, Vogue. I love Lady Gaga, so I wanted to make a quick little video in her honor. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my little Lady Gaga collection. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new September issue of Vogue. And I hope you keep subscribing and thank you to all my subscribers I love you all um and then I'm going to actually do a tutorial on my simple makeup I don't know when it's gonna upload but this is after like three or four ooh, longer than that like five hours of wearing it maybe six I'm not doing math but I hope you enjoyed the video bye guys